Hello world, my name is AK and you're watching the Swashbucklers Arsenal. Welcome back to the second part of my vlog sort of series of me making a 1930s authentic suit. And if you haven't seen the first part, it will be linked right here in the iCards above or in the description box below. And be sure to check that out. In the last video, we made the blazer after the second fitting. In this video, we'll be making the pants. And I actually do have the footage from before the first fitting and after. So I hope you all enjoy and I will see you in the outro. The way I start is with whatever measurements the pattern has and this pattern very annoyingly only has the waist measurements so I'm gonna go based off of waist and then I'm going to match that off of the customers measurements first thing I do is I write down the measurements of the pattern this one only has one and then I'm going to look at his measurements and his is waist 30 and a half obviously we're going to have to add half an inch I'm going to need to adjust the hips waist to hip at seven inches down so we're gonna measure from the waist seven inches down and that is going to be where our hips are. Now, the next step to adjust this would be to measure this length, which is 13 and a half inches. It's 13 and a half times two because there are two front pieces, which would just be 13 plus 13. So that's 27 inches. And then you're going to measure the back and do the same thing. So just to review again, we're going to go seven inches down from the waist and then measure and this is 11 inches so times two would be 22 inches so then we're going to add those two together all right then we need to subtract seam allowance so seam allowance on this is five eighths of an inch and that's uh, five inches so it's 44 inches and it needs to be it needs to be 36 and a half that's ridiculous so the waist is too small and the hips are too big. Okay, we're back. I figured out my mistake. I was measuring all of these sizes and I was supposed to be measuring the smallest one. So that was a very rookie, stupid mistake to make. So we're gonna remeasure 40 and a half and then subtract, what did I say, five inches, which would be 35 and a half. We have waist 30 inches. So we need to add a half because his waist measurement is 30 and a half. And then hips, 35 and a half. It needs to be 36 and a half. So we need to add one inch. What I'm gonna do is only add to the side seams because if you start adding to the front and the back, it just, it will mess up the layout. I divide what I need to add into fourths because you have a total of four side seams. So we have one inch, obviously that's easier. So we just add a quarter to each hip waist. It's half inch, so we just add an eighth. Next part is adding it to the pattern. So I've pinned the pattern down and folded under all the extra sizes. So this is the size that we're doing. And then all I'm going to do is something pretty simple. This is the side seam here. And at the top where the waist is, I'm going to add 1 8th of an inch. Down here where my line is for where his hips start, I'm going to add a quarter of an inch. After you've cut out everything else, we have our two chalk lines. And in order to keep the shape, I like to take the pattern and scoot it over. This is where I cut to, and I'm gonna keep that line there and just scoot this one over to here and this one over to here, and I'm going to chalk that out. And any dots should be chalked out before you do this because their placing does not change. And then I just smooth the point from when I cut to the point from when I started the alteration. The only thing I think that we need to work on a pan. Okay, so I just need to add three inches to the hip. So we're gonna do pretty much the same thing that we did in the beginning of this video, but do it again. I have the mock-up that didn't fit right here and we'll add on the side seam three quarters of an inch. <laughs> instructions ever the worst fly instructions at least like 
Flies are slightly complicated, but they are not that complicated. And this just made it impossible. I mean, I did figure it out, but that's only because I've made pants before with other better instructions. This is what this says. And without any like diagrams that you can understand, like that's, that's the diagram. That's, that's what you got to work with. That's all. And if you can't figure that out, then this is what you've got to go on. Face K with fly facing P cut out of lining material. Stitch close to front edge, baste inner edge in place. Okay, what that means is to take fly P, this thing, put it right sides together on pant front K, stitch with normal seam allowance, and then turn in and that's when you stitch close to edge. Not here, but it says, face K with fly facing P cut out of lining material, stitch close to front edge, based inner edge in place. Where in that does it tell you to turn it in and top stitch close to edge? Not stitch, top stitch. You just turn it in, top stitch, and then baste this part in here. And then there's another piece that goes in there, but I don't need to do that for the mock-up, so. We're gonna go on to the other side. Face fly in with lining material, leave notch edge open. Join notch edge to right front trousers. So we're gonna stick along the curved edge, that's half an inch, and then turn it out and attach it to pants. And then we're gonna put the waistband on, and we're gonna be done. I'm ready for fitting number two. All right, and that's all for today. Be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see the final installment when I make the actual suit. I have everything ready. I'm just waiting for the fabric to come in so that I can make it out of the actual wool material. So if you would like to see that, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. And if you have any suggestions or requests, please leave them in the comments down below. Until next time, bye.